Hello everyone! A couple of weeks ago I launched this application that allows you to show your streaming statistics to your audience through OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Um, I have also created a generic tutorial that shows you how to download the application and how to use it. Uh, but today somebody asked a very good question. He said he asked if it's possible to change the text uh, to a GIF or any other image in general. Um, yes, as I answered, yes, it's possible. It requires just a bit of HTML and uh, CSS. If you guys haven't checked this tutorial, please just do it. Then you can come back and see how you can customize that output. Because once you download it, you will have a folder called output. Um, the application, just let me open up. Okay, the application is scrolling that uh, specific video and save the data in these files. Uh, the index.html just takes the data from that file and um, print it in OBS. For that, for this tutorial, I just downloaded a generic like GIF and if we open up the index.html, we'll see these labels. So we want to replace the like label. Uh, all it takes is a image tag. So, so our uh, like dot gif. And I also want to resize the image because the, the one I don't want is pretty big. It's around uh, 500 pixels. And I want to reduce that to, uh, let's say, 120. So for that, we need a bit of CSS. There's not a problem to use the inline. So uh, width of 120 pixels. Okay, let's save it and open OBS Studio. So if you haven't followed the tutorial, this is how you um, show the statistics. All you have to do is create a new browser source, select the local file, and navigate to the output and index HTML, select it, set the size, and hit OK. As you can see, we have our, oops, our like button right there okay let's make it a little bit bigger okay so there it is now just let's test it i'll copy the id of my video put it here and start crawling there we go it works. That's pretty much it. You can modify whatever you want in uh, that file. Just don't mess with the um, IDs, with the counter IDs. Other than that, that's pretty simple. It only takes a couple seconds to, to modify. So, uh, thank you for your question. And guys, if you haven't tested this application, I'd really appreciate the feedback because I've been working a lot on, on it. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.